Teachers can change students' lives. The Grammy Foundation received more than 7,000 submissions for the 2015 Music Educator Award. In December, we revealed the top 10 finalists. Now, only on CBS This Morning, Anthony Mason is here to reveal the winner. Anthony, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. This is the second year the Recording Academy and the Grammy Foundation are recognizing a teacher for his or her contribution to music in the classroom. And this morning, the students and staff at New Hampshire's Wyndham High School will be happy to know their very own Jared Cassidy earned top honors. Nice even quarter notes, good sound, project that sound. One, two, three. <gasps> When Wyndham High School opened in New Hampshire six years ago, Jared Cassidy was hired to lead the music program. How many beats does this note get? His students quickly Not nicknamed two. him the Energizer Bunny. You have an enormous amount of energy in the classroom. I do, I talk fast. And believe it or not, I'm actually a lot more calm than I was, but I think like 10 years ago when I first started. <laughs> Where does that come from? I have so much going on in my head. I just get so excited. I love, especially when I talk about music and my students and education, I'm so passionate about it. That passion's been highly contagious. Sierra Cowan plays bassoon in the school band. We're getting so much done and we're working so hard, yet it feels like we're having the best time of our lives while we're doing it. Jillian DePercio plays clarinet. He constantly tells us, I don't see you as high school musicians. You are high quality professional musicians to me. And he's that kind of person who you want to meet those expectations. And it makes it incredibly exhilarating when you can. Adam Constantino plays the tuba. It becomes something you want to do because you want to impress him. You do it for him, really. Where did your love of music come from? Uh, my family. Cassidy's parents had him taking piano lessons early. In his high school band, he played the clarinet. I love being part of a collaborative unit of people. He started Wyndham's band with about 40 students. Today, it has 87. Anyone can join. Mr. Cassidy doesn't believe in auditions. I believe, and it's one of my biggest parts about music and music education, is that I want to provide access to all students. So if you've never played a note, you can be in this oh, band. Oh, absolutely. But they take music seriously. In 2012, Mr. Cassidy took the band to New York to enter a contest. They won it. They entered another in Chicago the next year. And won again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we won again, and I was shocked. <laughs> that earned Wyndham an invitation to perform at a recital last year on the main stage at New York's Carnegie Hall. I remember looking at Mr. Casting. We're both just looking at each other, and we're laughing because we couldn't. <laughs> We couldn't believe it. After the concert, when Mr. Cassidy returned to the hotel, his musicians were waiting. And he turned around and his face just lit up and it was, it was, it was wonderful. He gave a hug to <laughs> every <laughs> single <laughs> person. Go, go. The fact you could just freeze frame that moment in time, I don't think I could ask for another moment like that. What does it feel like to be part of this band? It's really a place to belong. We don't feel like we're band geeks here. Definitely not, and I would be proud <laughs> to be considered a band geek and be part of this <laughs> band. I'll, I'll straight up say it, I am proud. <laughs> <laughs> I had been playing for a few years before that. It was a former student, Tim Raymond, and his mother who wrote the letter to the Grammy committee. Why did you do it? Because I couldn't think of anyone more deserving of such an honor. I learned music lessons, I learned life lessons. He was one of my biggest mentors. How did you feel about being nominated for a Grammy? I was taken aback. It's a wonderful recognition. I see it more as a recognition of the students. Without the students coming back every single day, giving it their 110%, and their lips are falling off, and they're exhausted, and they're studying for <laughs> midterm exams, and they have a lot of pressure on themselves. They're the ones. I can be up there with my arms around, and, but they're the ones making the music.
The Music Educator of the Year Award coincides with the Grammy Foundation's Giving Day. The 24-hour donation drive, which begins tomorrow, helps fund music education projects. You can find out more at cbsthismorning.com. You know, there are 800 students in that school, 87 in the band, so one in 10 wow. is in the school band. It's, it's amazing. so amazing. Did he say it all came from his family? Is that what he said? came from his family. He was actually adopted from South, from South Korea at age four, but his family raised him. They made sure that they, were very, they had a very balanced education. They took music and all that, and that's where his love came from. I love what the mm -hmm. kids say, that they're proud to be a band geek, but, Anthony, you need to hand out tissues with that. I know. I wasn't oh. expecting that. After everything we're saying, wow, 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 what the students were saying, yeah. what he was saying, the student that wrote the letter about him. I remember when, when, wow. I was, when I was a college journalist interviewing my university president who said, if you have one teacher in the four years you're here who touches you, that's everything. Yeah. And in, in that school... It's him. I'm He's touched changed. and I'm not his student He's, and I'm touched. He's yeah. an amazing He's changed story. their lives. He's changed their lives. Anthony, thank values, you. Values, values, values. Another yep. awesome story from thank Anthony you. Mason. Nice thank you, you so much. And you can watch the 57th Annual Grammy Awards Sunday night at 8, 7 central. That's right here on CBS. You're watching CBS This Morning and producer Joe Long, too, right? Yeah, Joe nice Long. story. Oh.